Okay, let's look at instruction number 29 uh, in the textbook. Two charges, one is negative 16 mu C and the positive 4 point mu C. They are fixed in place and are separated by 3 meter. Okay, so let's draw the graph. Okay, so one charge is negative, so it's uh, 16 mu C, and then the other charge, let's just draw a line, go through this, okay. Yeah, this is a negative charge, let's just put it here. Another charge is positive, positive, so it's positive 4.0 mu C. So, the question asking for at what spot along the line through the charge, so this is a line I just drew along the two charges, is the net electric field zero. So net means you add as a, uh, the electric field created by each charge added together. So you should make it being zero. Now since electric field is a vector, so you add it together equals zero. That means so you, you should have two fields at one of the spot that the their electric field has different directions. So let's take a look at see uh, at approximately where uh, the two electric fields are opposite. Okay, uh, to determine the direction of electric field, just assume you put a positive charge at somewhere, and then if it's a force acting on them uh, uh, is opposite. That means their electric field is also opposite. So I put a sentence here. So direction of electric field, I just use E, right? Is same as direction of electric force. So I put a F E are positive charge. Okay, so you can imagine if you if you there is a uh, spot in between them. Uh, see if we have a spot here. So you can see if uh, if you place a positive charge here. So then the force acting from the negative charge is going to pull in to the left and the electric force from this positive charge is going to push to the left as well so that means this two electric field added together won't be zero okay so I take it off so what if there's a spot here see if it's possible and then if you place a positive charge at this location so the positive charge is going to push over there. Negative charge is going to attract this way. Okay, this should be uh, okay. So, so we should have. Uh, let's make this Q1, Q2, and then I label this as E1. So E1 is electric field created by the Q1. Uh, sorry, by Q2. Okay, so yeah, so I label E2. So that means because the uh, positive, positive, yeah, if you put place a positive test charge. Yeah, if you place a, a positive charge, normally we call it a test charge. Uh, a test charge is supposed to be positive and supposed to be small. And then we can, uh, if you, if we are talking about a, an experiment, so the test charge uh, is to place the here, and then we can measure the electric force, 
and then we can uh, determine the electric field. Okay, so E2 should be going this way. That's exactly the direction of the supposed electric force from the Q2. Okay, but the electric force from the Q1 should be this direction. So we label E1. Now when this two having the same uh, magnitude, and then uh, the question uh, we can solve the distance here. So if we label this distance as d, so we're going to solve this d. That's exactly the question asking for. Okay. Uh, so if this is a d, we can calculate the e1, e2. So e1 should equal uh, K Q1 over now because there's three meters between this, right? So there's that's 3.0 meter. So then the distance from the Q1 to this spot is gonna be 3 plus D. Don't forget a squared. And then the E2, right? The E2 should equal, now write it this way, uh, K, Q2. And then the distance is just the D squared. And if we make this two magnitude is equal, right? We already figured out the direction, the opposite. So as long as their magnitude are equal, so then we can just find out the D. Okay, so let's, uh, you can see, you can cancel the Q, K. Now if you divide by K on both sides, they're gone. So then just plug in the Q. Q should be Q1 is 16, right? We don't need to worry about the negative signs. Take it away. So then 3 plus D uh, squared uh, equals uh, 4 and d squared, right? Now to solve this kind of equation, uh, you can do cross multiplication, but it's actually easier way is you take a square root, okay, on both sides. So you should get a 4 out of 3 plus d, and then you get a 2 out of d. Uh, then you can do, you know, cross multiplication and you can even guess and check right so let's do the cross multiplication we should get 2 3 plus d equals 4d and you got a 6 equals 2d and d equals 3.0 meter okay if you can plug in and check right so if you put 3 and 4 over 6 and 2 over 3, that's good. Okay. Yep, so we found out the, the, the spot. It should be 3 meter away from the positive charge. Of course, it's on the line. Okay, so that's, we answered the question A and B. Uh, what would be the force? Look at here. What would be the force on a charge of on a charge, I think I missed something here. On a char on a charge of fourteen, be the force on a charge of fourteen mu c placed at this spot. Okay, so there's a, they're giving the number here. Positive fourteen mu c placed at this spot. Uh, we always have this formula. If you find out the force at this spot. Uh, we can just simply use the electric field at this spot and times the Q. Okay, and since the electric field is zero at this point, spot, and doesn't matter how much the Q is, so your electric force is zero. Okay, so electric field, uh, the E, electric field. 
that if you re look at the the units, it's really just a newton per charge. Okay, so uh, if if the electric field equals zero, and then uh, the electric force also equals zero. So that's a relation between the electric force and the electric field. Okay.